Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Frog, why are you out here by yourself? Did you go out there by yourself on purpose? Oh, I gave Frog his very last bath and now he's dead. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. This is episode 57, and things are going good. You know, we're happily married, we've got two kids, lovely house, I have a ton of money. Things are looking up for this generation. Aside from the fact that my dog is an elder and is about to drop dead, I have a feeling it's gonna happen today, and I'm really not pleased about it. But like, otherwise, life's so fun, you know? Are you stinky? Do you have work today? No, you don't. It's our day off still. Okay, I was gonna say, he's sitting on the floor stinking up the room. Go take a shower. I think most of what I want to do today revolves around, like, family bonding. You know, like, I want the kids to play. See, look, join him. Join him. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want them to make friends. I've never had one of them toddler playdates, but I kind of want to try it. Oh, Tabby, I don't want to hang out with you. I'm sorry. Ooh. I always feel bad, you know, when you, like, have your sim move out and then they start ignoring their family? <laughs> it's not intentional, but I, I do a lot of that. They just call it really inopportune times. If they would give me a little bit more warning, maybe it'd be easier. But they keep being like, hey, you want to hang out when I'm in the middle of trying to plan a play date or something, you know? It's not it's not gonna work. I thought I told you to shower. Why are you in the bath? Oh, these sims. Why are you in this bath? Oh, no. <laughs> That's the dog's bath. Oh, Alex, please. You have to get... Please. This is what I get for putting a bathtub in the middle of the front yard. It's not like I did it on purpose, though. It's just the bathtub glitches in the house. How? What am I supposed to do if it glitches in the house? You gotta put it somewhere. I have to bathe the dog. Okay, I'm actually gonna get the mail now. Please be toys. It is toys. I don't need these at all. I'm so rich. This is like the first time in the series I felt that way, but like we don't even need these toys. She's like rolling in money. Okay, but what I wanted to do, there's this social event, a toddler play date social event. I have never once used this. I don't know any toddlers. Oh god. Surely there is some somewhere. <laughs> Doesn't my family have kids? It's a baby. Okay, I'm gonna go age up the baby. This is the way. You know, the last thing I want to do on a Monday morning is visit Strangerville. Frankly, this is ruining my day. Where's the baby? Why is it facing the wall? <laughs> Who did this? Okay, let's age up the baby. Age up. Angelic, ooh. Oh, she's blonde like her mom. I feel like I need Terry to come meet the baby really fast so that I can actually invite her over. Come on, please, please. I'm literally begging you to hurry up. I am begging you to make this work easier. Okay, come here, kiddo. The toddlers can talk about Strangerville. Are you kidding me? I find that offensive. <laughs> you got no business doing that. You're like two. I think it's a glitch because it won't work, but I can't interact with her otherwise. I added her to my family. It was the only way, okay? Oh, well now I know her. Okay, <laughs> back to managed worlds I go. All of this just so I can have a play date. It's probably gonna glitch anyway. All right, now I just gotta put my sim back in her house because I had to steal her so I could do some introductions. <laughs> now it's 6 p.m. It's like past the toddler's bedtimes. I just wanna have a play date. Toddler, play date. Host caregiver, Terry. Host toddler, Anna. Guest toddler, Maya. Yes, go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come here. No, 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 you can't be tired. I'm cheat- I'm cheating it. Now, where's the toddlers? <laughs> here, maybe I'll, uh, shall I call everyone to the meal? Well, Tabby's shown up, but where's Tabby's baby? Where's the toddler? Oh, the dog's dirty again! Can you give him a bath, Tabby? <laughs> no, you don't live here anymore, but would you mind? I don't even see the toddler. Um, things don't appear to be going as planned, because I tried to have this play date- Oh, here she comes! Oh, she's just slow, because she's a toddler. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on, Maya. Walk a little bit faster. Come on, can you call the baby over? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> Just trekking along. She's gonna fall over in the process. I feel bad. It's taken her like two hours to walk to the front door. This is not good. <laughs> this is not going according to plan. Okay, they're supposed to have the Sims dance. Maybe I'll do that. This is what I get for trying to like host a family event. It just doesn't work. Here, turn on some kids radio. Wait, maybe have the kids meet each other. I want to have cousins. No, why can't they interact? It's because they don't have any social skill, right? You're level four communication skill. No, this is dumb. Bob to the music. It's fine. Do you know what? If the baby doesn't want to play, that's okay. At least we will. And then she'll just be here. Did that kid just get something out of the fridge? I think she did. Oh my god, she did. Or maybe someone else was by the fridge and she got it off the counter. Either way, something has been removed from the fridge. At least the kid's eating. I feel like this is not really going according to plan. This is like the most awkward play date I've ever been involved in. Um, 
Shall I get to know the toddler? Maybe hug her? This is ridiculous. These are like not even that easy to get. Like there's actually a lot to do for this. This came with the toddler stuff pack, which I honestly kind of forget exists. Not the stuff pack, I mean the gameplay from the stuff pack. I kind of like forget about it and I don't really use it that often. Come on, give me a gold. Give me a gold. Oh boy. Okay, you guys can leave now because I got a gold medal. Look, 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 look. I absolutely do not need this at all. I don't even have space for it, but here we are. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna be having a party in that thing, okay? But now it's like 11. PM, so I probably should send my kids to bed. I kind of I kind of failed to um to care for them. I, I teleported her upstairs, I'm not gonna lie. But it was worth it, okay? It was worth it. I didn't want to have to put her to bed properly, so we did it like this. Oh my god, it's almost Alex's birthday. Okay, give Frog a bath while you're here. Alex is gonna be a teen? Oh my gosh. The thought of that makes me feel sad. Okay, they went to the other bathtub. I clicked on the bathtub upstairs and you came down here. Tell me that you're having this problem too with the, the bathtubs glitching. Like, there's a reason I have it in the front yard, and it's not because I like it being in the front yard. It's in the front yard because it doesn't work. It's like the only thing that I can do. Okay, I think everyone else really ought to go to sleep. Although maybe not Terry, because Terry works until like 4 p.m. I mean 4 a.m. <laughs> opposite. So maybe she could work on her mischief skill or something. Uh, let's just troll the, the forums. I don't know. She needs to be level seven for her work. So if we can get this up a little bit more, I think that would benefit us. Mostly because I want to get promoted really badly. I don't know if our hours are going to be better or worse or not, but we'll find out. No, no, what are you doing? Stop. <sighs> Whatever. Just go to bed. This is, it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Just go to bed. Maybe I'll go taunt some people tomorrow. I'll go. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Frog, why are you out here by yourself? Did you go out there by yourself on purpose? Oh, I gave Frog his very last bath and now he's dead. I don't, I, I, uh, okay, everything's fine. I'm not gonna cry about this. I'm perfectly okay right now. Completely and totally perfectly fine. I love this game. I love this let's play. I love when stuff like this happens to me. I'm so happy right now. Everything's fine. No one's even gonna come down to like say bye to Frog. Are you kidding? Terry, can you please come get this? It's a bit urgent. I don't even know what to say. I don't need, I, okay, well, <laughs> how many pets have we had die now? I mean, this is like the fifth generation, so probably like six. It never gets easier. Sure Short lifespan is a curse. This is not fun. This game is not fun. Why do people play The Sims? I didn't have this kid do his homework. He had all weekend. <laughs> I didn't do any homework. I didn't do any projects. I did absolutely nothing. Maybe I should have him do a school project. It's like 6 30 in the morning on a Monday. We're up and we're making volcanoes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. He won't finish it, but he'll at least get some skills from it, which might be a good thing. Oh, we're feeling focused. Okay. Also, do you have work today? Yes, at nine. You need to get level two of the charisma skill still. Oh no. <laughs> He's not even level two charisma. Oh, that is pitiful. Okay, bestie, you're gonna need to practice some speech in the mirror there. That is embarrassing. He's He's got like an hour though. So it should be fine. I don't know. I don't think he'll get it up that fast, but we'll maybe we'll work on that today and you can go to work. There, he's close to level two of the mental skill. Not quite good enough, is it? Never good enough. All right, come on. He's not gonna get it up before work. Just go to, just go, just go. It's fine. You're not gonna get promoted. That's fine. I don't actually need the money this time. So it's okay, shockingly. It's not even a big deal. All right, you need to clean this toilet and use the bathroom. She really stumped that up when she used it last night and I made her poor husband use it after her. <laughs> ah, the bills are 4,000 simoleons. Oh my God. Okay, here I am talking about how rich I am. Maybe I'm not as rich as I thought. <laughs> Okay, let me get some food to put up here. Sorry that I screamed when the dog died, by the way. Um, I was just a bit stressed. I didn't mean to react in such a way, um, but it <laughs> it really got to me when it happened, you know? She farted too. Did you stink it up again? Or is that just wafting from you? Oh my God, that is vile. <laughs> what did you eat? You don't even have work today. I'm thinking, and maybe this is wrong of me, okay? But I'm thinking we need to perform voodoo five times. We can't even get a voodoo doll yet. We don't have high enough skill, but maybe, oh here, do you know what? What if you talk to the maid a little bit? Here, look. Look, look, I will introduce myself. We got a new one recently because the old one died. So I haven't met this one yet. Well, I assume the old one died because he was an elder and then he just stopped showing up. But I might do some mischief. Lie about your career. She doesn't need to know that you are in the criminal career. Yeah, but just do some subtle mischief. Where's the toddler going? What are you? Oh, go play in the ball pit. That's fine. I should go pay the bills. Ugh, that is a tough one. Okay, 4,000, it's fine. I think today though, I would like to go stealing. Where should I steal from? Should I go to the land grabs again? Oh my gosh, the friend aged up into a teen already as well. We'll have to age up Alex today then and maybe give the friend a makeover. We can't have our friend look in a mess, okay? We can't do it to him. I'm calling him friend because I don't remember his name, but you know the land grab boy that we're trying to befriend? It was like, Luke or something, something very like normal. Ryan, I don't remember. Oh, here he is. Nathan, I told you. What did I, what did I say? Maybe I'll do his makeover right now. <laughs> 
Nathan, such, it's a classic, you know what I mean? Oh, well, here I am letting Kendra look a mess. These two love their slicked back hair, apparently, don't they? Maybe that would be good. What? It changed my hair when I clicked on that. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't, I don't think that it's meant to change your Sims hair color as well when you click on the styled look. Besties, I think it also gave him freckles. Because Sims don't age up with freckles, and I didn't put freckles on him, but he has freckles now, so I think the styled look gave him freckles. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do they put on every accessory in the book? It never makes sense to me. I feel like I'd like to see some more styled looks for hot weather for boys that aren't like, like these. Do you know what I mean? Like most of them show a lot of skin. There's a lot of like open shirts and shirtless looks. And then this one's like the exact opposite. <laughs> we need some more styled looks for, for masculine frame sims. I'm trying to give them styled looks because I Look, I said I was gonna help the guy, but I didn't say I was gonna help the guy a lot. He's getting flip-flops. This is bizarre. This outfit is bizarre. That's fine, Nathan. You look great. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> if I'm in their household, I might start crying. I'm not kidding. I came here to steal from you, not to be you. Yep, okay. Every time. And I still, I act surprised every time, but it keeps happening, so I don't know why I'm pretending that I I can't believe it. All right, while I'm here, can I steal anything, like, high profile these days, or am I still not good enough? No, I can't take that. I can't take that. Oh, I can steal a chair? Yeah, take the chair. That seems pretty good. <laughs> Is anyone here that I can mess with? Just while I'm here? There's gotta be someone here. They were here a second ago. Oh, here we go. I shouldn't mess with Kendra. She's meant to be my friend. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask about her prized possessions. Oh my goodness. Look, oh, that's not as fancy as I thought. Oh, I thought it was like a ball gown. It's not, the dress isn't as fancy as I thought it was. <laughs> From the back and far away, I thought it was like a sparkly, glittery, all, all glitter ball gown, but it's not. It's more of a sundress. False alarm. Oh, everybody's dazed because it's a juiced community. This is like actually really inconvenient. I should get rid of it. You just farted next to a land grab. Wow, that is low. Come on, I'm so close to level seven. Is there someone I can just talk to around here? I'm sorry, I just, just a couple couple times I want to mess with you because my skill is so close. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Why did that take so long? I'm gonna go home though and mess with the toddler. Not mess with the toddler like I meant more like just hang out with her. I'm not gonna like torment my toddler by like claiming to be a criminal mastermind or inviting her to a fake party or anything. Although I don't think she would understand either of those things. And I also am a criminal mastermind so. I just said the maid cleaned my house while I was away but the maid was there before I left. So did I get double charged? Oh my gosh, play in the ball pit. I never use this thing. Literally never, ever, ever do I use this thing. She's crying in the ball pit. I too would cry about this ball pit if I were you. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cute. They've really dramatically improved the texture of this ball pit. This is um some big Sims drama to let you in on it. When the ball pit first came out, it was flat. Like, you see how there's little, little balls that you can see? Some of it's flat, some of it has balls. They really, like, dramatically improved the texture. Well, originally, flat. Like, completely flat, painted on. Here's an article from Sims Community that says, the ball pit object in the Sims 4 toddler stuff is really something. Um, this is what it looks like before. It was flat with 10 balls poking out. And it was like low res as well, so it just looked so weird. It was, oh, it was terrible. They've really improved it. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. And we get it, like ball pits are hard. You know, there's a lot of things going on here. It's not an easy item to make, especially when you're trying to do it with like low poly count and stuff, but play The Sims 4 for five hours. I think I've done a lot more than that, Bessie. <laughs> in this let's play as well, but okay. Anyway, it, they have lots of really nice detailed objects that are still low poly count. That one was just bad. Yeah, invite over your cousin Journey, that's good. I mean, sister Journey, wait. Oh, I could probably age him up today. Oh, this is kind of fun that his sister's here then because she gets to celebrate his birthday with him. I won't age her up early. I'll just let the game age her up, but it is his birthday, so maybe I'll make him a cake. I mean, yeah, we might as well. Maybe we can get him a cat. A happy birthday, Alex. Here's a, a kitten, maybe. Yeah, let me bake a cake really fast and then I'll, I'll go on and see who the ugly cats on the adoption center list are. We didn't get an ugly dog last time. We got a cute dog, but I'm in the mood for, for a weird looking pet in The Sims. Chaz swiped an object at work? Chaz, you stole a whole- <gasps> He took a whole punching bag. Oh, I was gonna put this chair somewhere. I don't know if it fits anywhere though. It doesn't really match my vibes that well. Can I put it in the- No, that's fine. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. Okay, do you want to blow out the candles, buddy? This is very exciting, Alex. I'm not gonna lie. Ready? We randomized traits here. Three, two, one. Ugh. Gloomy. Gloomy and a bookworm. Okay. I'm kind of into it. <laughs> I like how my Sims traits aren't that good, you know? It's kind of fun when they have a couple bad things going on for them. Let's look at him in Cass. 
How is our sixth generation looking? <laughs> this is important. Oh, Fabian sent him a gift as well. That's nice. Oh, and he's cute. He looks a lot like his dad. Like a lot like his dad. I like his hair and his eyebrows. I might keep them the way they are. Now I just gotta pick some outfits. Oh, I hate Cass. <laughs> I feel like, I say this all the time, but I feel like I am so unprepared for create a sim. Like I feel really incapable of putting together outfits both in real life and in the sims, but I just feel like I'm not good at it in the sims. And that's why I don't like it that much because I struggle with it. Like I don't know what to do. I don't know how to dress people. Like it's embarrassing. It really is. I feel like some people just have like an eye for that. And I, I lack the eye for that, you know? I'm not like bad at it. I just feel like I'm bad at it. So I, I feel stressed when I try and do casts. I'm gonna give him blue camo pants. Not because I think it looks good, just because I want to. How about a camo shirt? <laughs> oh, this is from the bowling stuff pack. I kind of like that though. Okay, that's fine. That is not fine. Flip flops. We live in Oasis Springs. It just makes sense. I'm changing this. I can't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want something different. Oh wait, I kind of like that. Is the like denim on denim weird? I don't know. Oh. I'm it's fine. He's done. It's done. Just don't look too close. Okay. <laughs> Just don't look too close. Well, hey, happy birthday. You want some cake? I'm gonna have to redo his room too. Oh my god, his sister just farted right there next to the cake. Journey, what is wrong with you? I want them to be closer. I, I feel like I need to have them try harder to be friends. I thought they were closer before, but maybe I didn't actually try. Maybe I just said I did. This is something I noticed about The Sims a lot. I always am like, oh, this is my Sims best friend, but they've hung out like twice, you know? You like say they're best friends, but in reality, they're not, they don't actually act like best friends because I just don't bother. <laughs> with having my sim socialize. Here, I might have Chaz come talk to Alex a little bit more because Chaz needs to get his charisma skill up. This is getting embarrassing. You having a low charisma skill doesn't fit up with my like vision of you. You know, <laughs> I picture him being like really charismatic, cool guy. And then it's like, oh, he can't even get promoted to level three in his career because he's only level one charisma. <laughs> there we go, fixed. Problem solved. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do though is give his room a little bit of a makeover. I think we're gonna finally get upgraded past this kid's stuff. We could probably keep like a cool patterned wall. Although I don't know about the green stripey one. Maybe we could do like this one. What did you put in my inventory? Where's that plant from? Oh, and all the kitchen stuff? Oh, that's weird. Oh, maybe the green polka dots? That is a very different color than the green on the wall right now. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> That is so ugly. Okay, what do we got? That's a bit too limey. I'm not a huge fan of the color of that wood. Honestly, this one is kind of like the color scheme. That bed's expensive. How much should I just spend on that? I hate that. <laughs> oh no. Ew, oh, oh God. We need to pick, no, 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 no. I need to use like a black rug or something. We can't be trying to mix and match all these greens. Oh, how about like a sized up fuzzy rug? Oh, that could work. And then I was gonna say, because he is a writer, maybe he could have a desk. I may as well spend a lot of the money that we have. Like we're kind of just sitting on money right now. So should I make it green too? <laughs> There's a lot of green in this room. It's kind of weird. Do I have any cutesy decorations I could put up? Like, I mean, I have some extra paintings, but I, I feel like he doesn't want these. <laughs> Can I have some pencils? Oh, pencils and, a, and like a journal because he's been writing. That kind of makes sense. Oh, I like that poster. I want to get him like a cool combination of posters, I think. Maybe some like school memorabilia. I don't know. I kind of like that. I think that's nice. And I feel better that I've actually used up some of our money. <laughs> I know that makes like no sense, but I honestly, I feel like it's nice that we've actually spent some of the money that we were just sitting on because now the Sims are actually benefiting from it instead of us just stockpiling cash. How long until the toddler ages up? A day? Okay. Well, last but not least, something I want to do today is replace my dead dog. <laughs> so I want to see about the cat adoption. I've kind of been going back and forth between pets. Like we had a dog, then we had a cat. This one's name is Turtle again. Okay. Take a look at Speckles and take a look at Waffle. Goofy. I think Speckles is a good one to come meet though. We like the ugly cats. And I'm, I don't mean that, listen, one time I said that in a video and then someone came to my stream and they were, this is, it was so funny. They came to my stream and they were like, Kayla, I liked your videos until you said that a cat was ugly. That is so unfair. And they were just going off. They kept spamming about how, how rude I was and how offensive I was. And they're like, I thought you loved animals. It was like definitely a kid, you know, but it was, oh, it was funny. Where did the cat go? Oh, besties. I've misplaced an ugly cat. Hang on. Where, <laughs> actually, where is it? Am I being silly? Like, is it obvious? I can't, I don't see the cat. I honestly don't see the cat. Oh, there it is. It looks like it's got some fox in it, doesn't it? That's weird. Which doesn't make any sense because foxes are dogs in The Sims and raccoons are cats. But I, I kind of like this one. I introduced myself. I might, I might adopt why are you on the counter? Speckles. Let's get an up close and personal look at this cat. Oh, you're cute. It does look a bit like a dog. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's definitely
definitely giving me some dog vibes, which maybe is what we need after the loss of our beloved dog. Maybe I'll adopt it. Come on, this is the one. I can feel it. It's already 10.30. How has that happened? All right, come on. Yes, this is the one. Speckles is a good name, but I want to see what it randomizes. Cooper, Nougat, Chandler, Bullet, Socks, George. Oh, that's kind of funny. It's weird. The cat can't be called Speckles. There's nothing speckled about that cat. Sorry, it just randomized Mr. Wiggles. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm gonna name the cat Mr. Wiggles. I'm gonna do it. When given the opportunity, it's just, it's not something I can pass up. Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, look at you. Okay, that's the one. Here, here, you can have a little collar, Mr. Wiggles. This one seems a bit grumpy. Friendly, talkative, free spirit. Okay, well, maybe not. These cats look a bit goofy in real life too, don't they? Is this like a show cat? Is that why you're holding it up like that? Is that the breed standard? Because it's so funny looking. <laughs> I love him. I'm not really an expert on cat breeds. I don't know if you guys are. I. That's just not a thing that I have ever paid attention to at all. I know like a couple of the popular ones, but that I just don't know anything about fancy cats. <laughs> you know, like I've only ever adopted cats that are like all sorts of mix. You know, like, I, I don't know anything about fancy cats. That is not my realm of expertise. Okay, one last thing I want to do today. I keep saying that, but I need to get a litter box because I now have Mr. Wiggles and he's going to need a spot to poop. There's not a lot of good spots for litter boxes for Mr. Wiggles in this house. Giant house and nowhere to put a litter box. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll put it like in the hallway. We still have a pet bowl, so that's good. Maybe we could put a cat tree like in front of this window. I've told this story before, but I'm gonna tell it again. This one time on stream, it was it was a situation like this where my Sims dog had literally just died, right? So obviously I didn't delete the pet bowl right after my dog died, you know? Like sure, frog has passed away, but the first thing I did was not delete the pet bowl. Why do I have graves on me? Kim and Graham? Oh, should I bring them to the graveyard? Anyway, I the, do the dog stuff was still there because it had just died. Well, someone comes into my chat and they're like, why do you have a dog bowl but no dog? <laughs> to which I was like, my dog just died. It just was really funny timing because they, they hadn't seen, you know, they didn't realize the dog had just died. <laughs> then they come in and they're trying to mock me for still having a dog bowl. Little do you know, I did have a dog, just no longer with us. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a lot of dogs. That would be our seventh pet. That is tough. I'm gonna give it a little frog decal. Oh my god, how about this little frog for frog? Oh, does that still spew water? Oh, that's dumb. Frog's grave is leaking. That's- I'm gonna leave it. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Okay, I have Kim and Graham. That would be Kim f and my Sim Graham. All right, this one's for you, Miss Kim f You will be missed. I don't know what to put there. Graham. How about a cookie jar? Because, like, Graham crackers? I don't know. There's for you, too. I've missed you guys. My venue's incomplete. Oh, I deleted all the fake graves so it doesn't count as having enough sculptures anymore? Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I'll put this cat sculpture in front of my cat and this dog sculpture in front of my dog. That was turtle. Turtle kind of looked like that. This one's spatula. Spatula kind of... Mm, well, spatula doesn't look like any of these. Maybe that one works for spatula. There you go. <laughs> I've got enough sculptures. And also a leaking grave. I'm so sad about frog. This is the worst day. Our graveyard's really coming along though. We've got a bunch of sims over here. We're actually running out of space. We'll have to figure that out. But for now, I think I'm gonna end this part right here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry about frog. I feel like that's just never a thing that's fun. <laughs> this has not been a fun episode. But our sims are getting older. I mean, we still have a toddler, but we've got a teen in the house now. We're like proper on gen 6 then, you know? So that's kind of fun. Also, in the comments, taking suggestions for what you all think Anna will do when she gets older. Like, what do you think her career will be? I want to pick one of the ones we haven't done yet, you know, for the heir. So if you've got any good story ideas for Anna's life, I think that I kind of want Anna to be the heir, mostly because I'm not ready for that next heir to happen yet. <laughs> like, I don't want Terry to not be the heir anymore, and Alex is already a teen, so... <laughs> <laughs> I want to wait and have it be Anna just so I can have longer with Terry, you know? But anyway, story ideas in the comments. Say hi to Mr. Wiggles in the comments. I don't know. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles. This is ridiculous.